Today, we will be learning the formulas of some common substances usually found in your homes. But before that, let me introduce myself first. My name is Angelica with K. Friends, colleagues, and acquaintances call me Ange, but they prefer to address me as Ge whenever they text me. And just like the chemical substances that we are going to tackle in a while, they too have names, or more accurately, chemical name, common name, and symbols or chemical formula. But what do we mean by those? What is the difference of chemical name and common name? And what do we mean when we say chemical symbol or when we say chemical formula? To understand the concept of naming and assigning the chemical formula of a substance, let us go back to the basic of atom, element, molecules, and compounds. Atom is the smallest particle of an element that maintains its chemical identity through all chemical and physical changes. This is the reason why elements cannot be separated into chemical substances even by chemical means. Atoms consist of three fundamental particles, electrons, protons, and neutrons. These are the building blocks of an atom. Element, as I have mentioned, is a substance that cannot be separated into chemical substances by chemical means. Element can be written as X with a superscript which is represented as A and is the atomic mass of that element, and subscript which is represented by Z and is the atomic number of that element. By nature, there are elements that are considered diatomic. They are the elements that occur as diatomic molecules, meaning they have two atoms of the same kind. The seven diatomic molecules are hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, bromine, iodine, fluorine, and chlorine. Molecule, on the other hand, is the smallest particle of an element or compound that can have stable independent existence. Recall that there are seven elements that are diatomic in nature. This is because they are not stable with only one atom. For example, oxygen atoms that are individual are not stable in room temperature and atmospheric pressures. Compounds contains two or more elements in chemical combinations in fixed proportions. Many compounds exist as molecules such as water, hydrogen peroxide, hydrogen chloride, sulfuric acid, acetic acid, carbon dioxide, methane, methanol, and ethanol. These compounds I have mentioned actually have their common names and are represented by their chemical formulas. The common name of a substance is what it is commonly known as or commonly called as. For example, the vinegar we use in cooking is known as acetic acid as its chemical name while their chemical formula is used to represent them. By definition, chemical formula is a combination of chemical symbols which represent the compound. A chemical formula may be molecular chemical formula which consists of the chemical symbols for the constituent elements followed by numeric subscript describing the number of atoms of each element present in the molecule. Empirical formula represents the simplest whole integer ratio of atoms in a compound. The molecular formula for a compound can be the same as or a multiple of the compound's empirical formula. Molecular formulas are compact and easy to communicate. However, they lack the information about bonding and atomic arrangement that is provided in a structural formula. A structural formula indicates both the number of atoms and their arrangement in space. 